Art in the airport is not only beneficial to our passengers who get to enjoy the art, it also benefits the artists that we include in the collection as well as the entire artistic community. I'm really excited about being in this collection. I think this collection is world class. My art is really meant to heal the world. Boy, what a privilege to be a part of this collection. Artists love being a part of this collection. Every day their work is seen by tens of thousands of people. The airport is really the gateway to the city of Houston, and we want to welcome all of our passengers to Houston and share some of this local talent of the art community with our passengers. We decided at the airport it would be a great opportunity to invest in this art community and launched a call for art that was an estimated $3 million investment in the local art community. That purchase included 74 new portable works by Houston area artists representing the largest single purchase in the history of the City of Houston's art collection. In addition to the 74 portable works, we commissioned 10 new site-specific works to really highlight the regional talent of artists that are located right here in Houston. I'm from Mumbai originally, and I applied for this project because when the call went out, this is where I used to catch my flights and is where I catch my flight from to go home every time. And it just felt very close to me. And I, I know the space. I've always wanted to create a tunnel art experience with my work and it felt like the right space for it. And it resonated for me. And I, I knew that this was the right spot. My goal in my work is to educate people, and I call myself a marine conservation artist for a reason. That is the power of my work and the reason I was put on this planet. And making sure and reminding people that we are all connected through water is so important to me. That is why I love public art and I love creating these monumental moments for a viewer to be transformed into that time and space and energy. The thing that I love is that someone that will come to the airport will pass through the airport and will see a piece and hopefully it will cause them to stop and appreciate um, and maybe even reflect on something in their own lives. And what we see in these new works um, by these artists is that they've put themselves on canvases, on walls, on floors, on ceilings. And so it's truly exciting. And I look forward to hearing from travelers and passengers and Houstonians about the art that they see, both these 10 commissions um, and the artists that are now a part of the collection. These new commissions bring variety, not only in the artists that we selected, but in the type of art that was chosen. It's really a great variety of art, and it really provides some interesting new things for our passengers to enjoy. If you're a craftsperson, perhaps your interest in my work is purely through the way it's made and the quality and how I'm thinking about materials or you know, conceptually, if you're, you know, more of a fine artist, the way I'm working with these ideas of what is soft, what is hard, fun things, whimsical things, and how they fit in within this very broad art world that we, that I exist in anyway. So for me, these settings really allow anybody with any type of education and experience to come and take something from the work. So when passengers see this, I hope they have a sense of fun and whimsy and question what these might be. Why would seemingly inflatable plastic objects be important enough to be a part of a major city's art collection? Uh, and so there's that kind of query that I'm interested in. We want to be able to provide these artists the ability uh, to have millions almost 56 to 60 million passengers uh, look at the art, maybe we discover, uh, take it to the next level. But for the passengers themselves, when they have time and when they are perusing to the airport, when they're walking through the airport, when they have time from one flight to the next, or when they just come early enough to the airport, to be able to take a look at the commissions that we have, uh, the amount of artists that we are able to provide, just to give them some type of relaxation. In many cases, this is the only artwork in our city's collection that somebody traveling through Houston might encounter. 
So it's important that it leaves a good impression. It's important that it makes them feel good while they're moving through traveling, which can be very stressful at times or trying. And so we want to create an atmosphere that is encouraging and, and hopefully adds a little bit to the, the experience as you move through these sometimes stressful places. It does bring that local uh, flavor that Houston provides, that cultural diversity is actually also very much imprinted within the art. A lot of us have been in lots of different airports, but it's nice when you go to an airport and they understand culture. Uh, culture is what connects us, right? Culture is how we express ourselves in humanity, how, how we become human, how we understand our humanness, right? And so when you see a collection like that, especially at an airport where a lot of us get a little too human just waiting <laughs> or, or, or rushing through and, you know, all those things become apparent. And so I think for me, it was really important to be part of that. And especially the city of Houston, like, it's amazing. I can make this in the studio, it can go in a private collection, it can go in a museum. But when public art becomes like really public, it, it ends up behaving on its own. And I, that's the part that I'm really excited about. With these 10 new commissions and these 74 portable works, it brings our total count in our permanent art collection to nearly 350 artworks. This is truly a place to come and be happy and for viewers and people traveling to be at peace. The fact that so many people will walk through the airport and view the art is phenomenal and as an artist it just means so many more eyes get to look at my work. And it's their first impression of Houston and then when you think about your first impression of the most diverse city in the country, uh, we want to make sure that that diversity is reflected. Our vision for the arts program is to truly be not just the best art program in North America, it's actually in the world.